Now you're doing a lot of the training now, and you're doing these virtual types of, of training. You're, you have a lot. Talk a little bit about that, about the, the new set of training, how you are now teaching this to a new set of practitioners. Now that Rade is gone, you talked about passing the baton over. Go a little bit into the training and what that entails. Well, we have various levels of training. Yeah. And those levels of training are suitable for different people. So we have a basic antenna training package, which, which I sell with, with the antenna itself, so that you don't receive an antenna and then have no clue what to do with it. Hmm. Okay, so we need a little bit of assistance at that point, just to learn what the numbers mean, the basic structure, the numbers, a little bit of history, and then some exercises, and it just follows a format of, of this is what you do then. And there's a little protocol that comes with that as well for antenna users. So these are people who would like to, to sort of scratch the surface. They're interested, but they've got plenty of other things that they're interested <laughs> in until they get one. It, it's an amazing skill set, and right? And their interest goes, okay, I want to do the next level. Well, well to, to just interject really quickly, because mm -hmm. ACMOS is a system itself, but utilizing a Lecker instrument to just qualitatively test things. And that's where people have to realize this Lecker instrument is so special in a way that you can use it within the system to do ACMOS energy balancing. That is a therapy, so to say. That is a system of, of therapeutically enhancing you know, the, the energy, the vitality of a person. You could also use the Lecker instrument to just test products, to test anything really, and see if it has certain frequencies that are good for the human body or not. And I yeah. found that to be probably its, its biggest usage alone of the Lecker instrument mm -hmm is to just go up to any supplement and be able to test, is this even good for the human body or not? And you'd be really shocked to learn how many products out there that say they're healthy and say they're, they're you know, to help you heal that are actually probably more of a poison to you on an energetic level, meaning they might have toxicity in it that would hamper, they may have something else that would do it. So I, I find the Lecker instrument to be in, incredibly useful just in that term, even outside of the ACMOS method. Yeah. So you can, you can do that. You can do measuring, but right. you can also change the quality of an environment yes. or you can change the quality of a product That's with true. an antenna because an antenna is a sender and a receiver. Yes. So when you're testing, you're receiving. When you're changing things, you're sending information to that product, raising its quality or its vibration, making it more adaptable. You can also test with people whether that product is suitable for them. Mm -hmm. Because and you have compatibility you know, testing. There are millions of products. Which ones should we take? And there are people who believe in, in that you need lots of products. And there are people who believe that most of what you need is inside your body and your liver will break down and rebuild what it needs from the building blocks, blocks of your diet. And so a belief system creeps in here as well. But using the antenna, you can shortcut all of that. You can save yourself a fortune on buying loads of products. When I had chronic fatigue, I had a cupboard full of, of supplements, none of which made the slightest bit of difference. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we need to take a product for a period of time. Just like if you want to repair a bridge, you need to take the materials to build the bridge to the, the site and build. So I see the, the yang side of the energy system as being like a working building site where we need the, we need the energy, we need the tools, we need the, the blocks or the bricks to, to build the building or repair its uh, foundations. And the yin side I see as being like the architect. Mm. And if the architect is on site, the building is built as it should be. If the architect is not connected, then the building site will, the builders will just build any old how. So your body will repair itself, higgledy piggledy, if you don't put information in. And one of the things that I've seen change throughout my career in the last 30 years is the way that we treat fractures because fractures used to be non-weight bearing for much longer. But now we know that a bit of weight, so a bit of the natural expectation and pattern and information of load bearing through that fracture will cause it to rebuild and align along the lines of stress mm -hmm. instead of having to heal first and then remodel to the lines of stress, which is the way we used to do it. 
of course, varies fracture to fracture, but that's just an example. The body's always changing, remodeling. We, we, our cells are changing over by billions every day. And the biggest changeover is in the red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen and carbon dioxide, but they carry information as well. The blood carries the information around the whole body to all the cells. The quality of the blood's important. And that's one what of my soapboxes. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's one of the reasons. Also, I think ACMO is so fascinating. It's a, it's a you know it's not a diagnostic measure at, at any point, but it is an evaluation of where you are right now. People don't realize whenever you get a lab test, you're waiting several weeks. So that's a snapshot of what you were then. By the time you get your results, you're a total different person. You could be a, a totally different results if you took your blood again. So it gives yeah. you a snapshot, which is fine. Snapshots are nice. That is some information, but it's not who you are right now. And it's not who you are, you know, in a week from now. Acmos, you could quickly evaluate just the information, just energy side, and see where you are now, and then see where you are in a week also. So it's it's a beautiful tool for any practitioner. And I do know it's it's a way of measuring how treatment is coming along. Are you balanced still? Is are things going well? Why are you unbalanced? What happened, right? What what yeah. what got us to here? And that allows the practitioner to uncover more information about the the patient or the client at that time. So it's it's a wonderful tool in analysis of a patient's health in real time. 